G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now in this quick little video, what we're gonna take a look at is how can we teamify a shared library? So one of the ways in which we can create a space for a group of people to store some files and collaborate together on those files is through the OneDrive interface uh, in the browser. There's an option on the left hand side that allows us to be able to create a shared library. Now, when we create this shared library, it's actually creating a SharePoint site in the background and also in addition, a Microsoft 365 group. But there's no team associated to that 365 group or that shared library. So can we actually teamify a shared library? Let's take a look and see uh, what that looks like. So. Let's jump into OneDrive and you can see here I am in uh, my files and this is my files. So these are mine, um, unless I share a folder or files with other people, then nobody else has access to this. Now on the left hand side, we might wanna create a space where a group of people can come together to store our files. We might be doing an event planning um, or just collaborating with a group of people. We need a, a central location where we can store our files. So rather than creating a folder inside of an individual's OneDrive and sharing that out to multiple people, we can create a shared space and then we can add members to that space and they automatically get permission to those files. So when we create a shared library, we give it a name and we add some members. Okay, so in the background, what's happening is that a Microsoft 365 group is being created and also a SharePoint site. So let's just go call this uh, Web3. We'll add some members. Let's add Nesta and we will add Adele as well. Then we've got some advanced settings. Now you can see here, it's going to create a SharePoint site and it's also gonna create an email address. Now we can use this, change the privacy settings, either to public or private, but we're just gonna keep this private for this case and we'll hit create. What's gonna be, what's gonna happen now? SharePoint sites being spun up, 365 groups being created, those members are being granted access to that site and in turn that document library. So you can see here, as that's been created, I've got, I'm inside documents. Because I'm in OneDrive, it's a files experience. So I'm uh, looking at the files here and it's the document library. But you can see, I actually do have a SharePoint site and if I click on this go to site, I've got a SharePoint site called Web3, all right? But that there is no team associated to this particular uh, SharePoint site or this particular Microsoft 365 group. So one way in which we can do that in the bottom left-hand corner of the SharePoint site, we get an option to be able to connect this to a Microsoft team, all right? So you can see down here, add real-time chat, add Microsoft Teams to collaborate in real time and share resources across the 365 with your uh, with your team. So that brings with it all of the team's functionality to what started out as being just a shared library that we created from OneDrive. So if I go add, add Microsoft Teams, I'm taken through this wizard, I can continue here. You can see also that I've got the ability here to pin resources as tabs, right? So I can add pages and lists and libraries as tabs in Teams to make the shared resources already available to all of the collaborators here. By default, I've got documents and I've got the actual homepage itself. So let's add Teams. That's now going to uh, add or teamify this 365 group and this site so that we've now got all the goodness and the functionality of Microsoft Teams. Okay, so if I now jump um, into Microsoft Teams, what we will see, and you can see that I've now got this little icon up here that uh, shows me that I have got a team associated to this now. And the good thing about this is I can just click this little icon and I'm now taken to the Teams uh, interface. I'm gonna use the web app here and that's gonna open up the team called Web3. All right, so now it's all connected. I started out just wanting to create a shared space, a shared document library. Uh, I've now in turn been able to, um, to what we call, I guess what we call teamify this. I've now got the files tab, which is connected to that document library. Okay, and I've also, because I chose to pin, uh, pin that homepage, I've actually brought the homepage of that SharePoint site 
into this team's uh, experience as well. So I hope that brings you some value. Teamifying uh, what started out as a shared document library can definitely be done. Just takes a couple of steps, but after that you are good to go. Thanks for watching, see you next time.